All right, guys, welcome. Uh, we're going to be doing some brokerment training. Uh, first one we'll be doing will be how to create a transaction in brokerment. When you get yourselves logged in, uh, you will be first led to the uh, dashboard area. Uh, this is where we'll make some announcements in the coming events uh, box here, so make sure to keep up with that. Also have all the useful links for you guys. Looks like we got to do some cleaning up. All right, so let's get this thing started. All right, we'll click down to transactions. Uh, you will see all your transactions here. That's where they'll uh, be displayed. Uh, if not, uh, we'll just go ahead and create your transaction. Now, click transaction, click create new. Um, what we'll focus on here is we'll focus on creating a buyer's transaction, so a pending transaction. So first thing, couple things is make sure that it is a residential. Um, then also over here, this is the most important. If this is a buyer's contract, you will click pending. Uh, if you leave it on listing, that is not a problem. I can show you how to change that here in a little while. So uh, since I don't have an address, what I'm gonna use is to be determined. You can come back and edit this and I will show you how that's done after we're done with this. With the city, if you have a general idea where the city is, we'll be using Birmingham. Uh, if you don't know the zip code yet, again, it is not important. You can change that at a later point. Just make sure to focus on uh, the red boxes. That's mandatory information uh, for the price. Once again, we do not know a price. You can just use a price out of the thin air. Not a problem. I'll use 500000 That's just kind of what I tend to uh, use very often. Uh, list of date, expiration date, all this you can fill in at a point. Make sure to click the box down here, additional fields. These are required. Are you a principal in a transaction, yes or no? In this particular instance, no. Yes, we're going to make sure it's a home warranty, home inspection, yes. And, of course, your lead source. The, this comes from an Avast lead, Op City, outside referral company, postcard, app lead, website, uh, you can see all the choices there. Uh, so it's, uh, just for training purposes, we're just going to use the first choice of class, past client referral. Now, once you're all done with that, you'll scroll down if you have to, click Next. Um, this is where the agent and commissions structure is put in. Uh, we'll get in more to the uh, commissions portion up here at a later point uh, since we'll get you guys to start filling that out. Uh, we're going to connect uh, brokerment uh, with our uh, payment system so you uh, can be paid a little bit better. I apologize for forgetting um, the payment system on that and commissions and all that so just please disregard that. Again since we're dealing with the buyer side down at the bottom you will select click select uh, this box will come up uh, buyer side is represented by Avast Realty LLC Birmingham or if you're in another location it should say Avast Realty LLC uh, Tuscaloosa Gulf Coast or in Huntsville or wherever else, even Atlanta. Okay, so just make sure to click Avast Realty LLC. Of course, your location will be uh, out there as well. Click Save. Go over here to Add Agent Commission. Add Agent. Uh, since we're dealing with this with me, uh, just a quick thing you guys all agent names will be in all capital letters uh, when you start typing your name I know that you'll see um, that uh, there will be other names in there all agent names again will be in capital letters so make sure to co pick correctly your name is uh, in all capital letters now your commission plan will be stated you click save and then we'll click next now guys if any of you are still using uh, Internet Explorer from Windows. Internet Explorer and Brokerment do not play well together and believe it or not, Internet Explorer is not even supported by Windows anymore. So if you get to this point where you cannot go next, it is probably because, yes, as I just mentioned, you are on Internet Explorer. Find yourself another uh, web browser. Uh, I use Chrome. Uh, you can use Firefox. I know there's a couple others out there you can use, but um, I highly suggest using Chrome or Firefox. All right, so I'm moving forward. You'll click Next. Um, you'll put in your buyer. If you have multiple buyers, uh, you can add, uh, you can click, and I'll show you how to do that in here in just a second. So um, this is just somebody we have created for training purposes, Mr. Chris Watson. 
Uh, if you need to add another contact, uh, being this is a buyer contract, you can add them as a buyer, uh, and then you can fill it out as needed. If it's not needed, uh, for this training purposes, we're going to click this out. Uh, again, uh, have your buyer up here. Linda's name or your broker, I believe Linda's name will be the only name that's going to show up. Do not take Linda's name out of the broker, uh, out of this contact portion here. If you take Linda's name out, it will not get checked and you guys will not get your commission. So, leave Linda's name in here. Everything's good with your contact. You will click create. And ta-da! Your transaction is now created. Uh, I mentioned earlier, of course, we just said, you know, to be determined. Uh, for purposes of, you know, if you want to get uh, RECAD signed, uh, buyer's agency, uh, buyer acknowledgement, any of those forms, again, you don't know the address. You just want to get some uh, signatures to send out. Uh, Axel will cover um, how to do e-sign and filling all that out. We'll do that in another uh, video. Now mention, let's say you go back, uh, you finally have an address. You can go here to edit. Click edit. That is not supposed to delete. My apologies. It's supposed to edit. <laughs> and if you got an address, um, if you wanted, um, just for this purpose, we're going to throw in an address. And I apologize, I do not type very well. Uh, we'll s switch to price. Oops. Again, my apologies, I am not the best typer in the world. Like I said, you could change it, and there it is, it's all changed. Uh, add your checklist. Again, please pay attention when you're doing this. Slow down. Pay attention to the template. Uh, the default is the listing package. Just click triangle here. Actually, you don't need to click triangle. You can actually just click that and it'll populate the, uh, the menu. Uh, look for the sales package buyer side. We don't have an accepted state yet. You can fill that out at a later date when you do get an accepted contract. Um, and now the checklist uh, will be populated. Uh, one of the new things that is on here is this wire fraud form. We've had some problems lately with wire fraud. So now this is a required form that Linda uh, requires. I know I just said that a couple times, but this is part of the uh, packages now that uh, have clients fill out for wire fraud. All right. Uh, that's basically it on how to create a transaction. Uh, we'll do some more on how to upload docs, split files, and other videos. Thank you very much, guys. Talk to you soon.